I'm more, I'm sure that all of you feel that you know him. Actually, the whole world feels that they know him, inspiring millions and millions and millions in Athens, in Greece, in Europe and beyond to root for Ukraine's victory. We're looking forward to welcoming President Zelensky in Athens at a time of peace. And we are thankful that he has chosen to share a video message with all of us. Shanovna Pani President, Madam President, fellow participants of this forum, all those who cherish the democratic system and wish to keep it for generations to come. There are many debates in the world nowadays about democracy, what imperils democracy and how to defend it. And what exactly should be done for democracy to win under global confrontation? People feel the approach of a decisive moment in a centuries-old confrontation between democracy and uh, tyranny. It is therefore that I wish to share my confidence with the Athens Democracy Forum that we can guarantee the future of democracy just as we can protect it. We can do this because we know what brings the strength to democracy, what lies in the heart of it, what sources the freedom for every bit of a democratic society and every single person. It is unity. This is the most important aspect. Democracy is about the rule of law, the respect, the procedures and the equality of the free and freedom for all. But it is the unity keeps it all running and full with true freedom. The unity makes democracy alive. In case of the fully atomized and alienated societies, lacking the stable connections between the nations, when someone might fail to give a helping hand to others in need, the democracy weakens, subsides and falls apart. We've already seen this many times in our history. The case of a small but energetic and highly united tyrannical minority of party being able to oppress the society of people without the unity and trust. We have seen some democracies deciding to stand aside while others' democracies were threatened. Eventually, all of them would have to face the threat, even those not affected by it at the beginning. We have seen that people may become disappointed with democracy should they feel inequality and humiliation or a lack of emotional connection with those in power. It might turn into a fascination with someone autocratic. Now, then what? A tyrant starts destroying his own society to preserve their personal power. This is exactly what has been happening in Russia over the past 30 years. Therefore, unity stands for a universal response, a unity in society for the people to feel a connection with each other, to have something in common that would grow and bring more freedom, more comfort and more well-being, a unity between societies and states. All democracies should act in unity as a joint community of all and help one another in times of need. It is not only a matter of relations between the leaders of states or the presence or absence of historic ties, but a matter of fighting for a democratic system. Should we stay and act together, no one would become an overwhelming threat to us. This is something you can see about the war unleashed by Russia against our people and against our common democratic system. The more unity we have, the more tangible are Russian defeats. The third element, this is very important for every democratic state, is the unity between those in power 
and those who gave them such power. Democracy resides in no government offices, not even in the parliament chamber. Democracy lives among people. That is why it is so important to avoid having isolated groups within societies, like privileged groups or unintegrated minorities. After the full-scale invasion of Russia into Ukraine, we have managed to build the greatest unity of Europe and the democratic community of the world. But there is more that can be achieved. We have much work to do to reinforce our unity, and every step we make would bring more protection for democracy, not just somewhere, not just in some country, but in general, for all of us and for our children, for all free nations, forever free. I thank you for your attention. I thank Greece for your great support. It is a great honor for me to accept the award of the city of Athens for the Ukrainian people for our contribution to the protection of democratic values. Glory to Ukraine! Mr. Ambassador, it is an honor for me to present you with the award of the city of Athens. So, glory to Ukraine, our positive thoughts and support is with the people of Ukraine.